It is the 13th of the 1st, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and start on SOT.net tonight. European ski resorts in lockdown after freak snowfall cuts roads, rail, and air links. Well, over 1,000 1, British skiers trapped in the Alps after severe snowfalls, falling trees and rocks blocking many routes. Avalanche warning raised to stage 3 or considerable risk. Holiday makers are advised to stay indoors and drink heavily. U.S. first winter blast hits northeast and the Midwest. I can contest to this. Uh, we have below zero wind chill factors tonight and it was just 60 degrees, what, two days ago? Um, got a little bit of snow here, not too much. Uh, pretty dry though. Cold fronts moving in from from the north on Thursday made for the first winter blast across the Midwest and the Northeast. With parts of, the Connecticut, with parts of Connecticut seeing their first snow since October and snow-starved Chicago expected to get hit later in the day. And it's a pretty potent storm, definitely ongoing. Australia cold snap sets new record low temperatures. The Weather Bureau says an extreme cold front has broken a series of low temperature records for Canberra Goulburn and the Snowy Mountains. Uh, the, southern the southern tablelands in Victoria Alpine region have also been hit by summer chill. A uh, rapidly moving uh, cold front from Antarctica moved through Tasmania, Victoria, New South Wales, and the ACT yesterday. And uh, they're saying they got actually got some snow in the Snowy Mountains. And, of course, the 7.3 magnitude earthquake that hit yesterday. Over to the extinction protocol. Uh, was North Carolina hit by a rare winter tornado? At least 15 people were injured and at least 60 buildings damaged when a possible tornado struck a western North Carolina. Uh, the National Weather Service said Thursday the storm struck Rutherford and Burke counties late Wednesday afternoon as the cold front moved through the through the Western Carolinas, meteorologist uh, said. So yeah, some pretty severe storms rolling through. And tropical cyclone Heidi to bring torrential rains to northwest Australia. Um, Heidi's crossing western Australia, Palbera Coast, bringing strong winds and heavy rains into the region. A red alert has been sounded for Port, for Port Hedland as storm surges threaten to inundate low-lying parts of the town. And we're certainly feeling the full brunt of the cyclone Heidi as she's crossing the coast. And that's about all new they have today. I'm off the Ice Age now. They've got a story out. Far more deep sea vents than previously thought. More evidence that undersea volcanoes and deep sea vents are heating the oceans. But they are contributing to the increased CO2 levels, too. Do you think man will be blamed for this as well? And basically, they're going into the story as far as um, global warming is not being caused by um, expanding CO2 levels. It's by these underground, way more than we thought there were, uh, volcanoes and vents heating up the oceans faster um, kind of thing. And I will attach a link to that story below, of course. Over to the RSOE, um, out of New Zealand, we got that freighter that's up on that coral reef that was broken in half. Apparently the oil spill is getting worse as that thing breaks apart. Um, some bird deaths and that kind of thing right now. Still uh, flooding ongoing in Brazil. South Korean nuclear event. Um, they got a power plant, uh, they're saying it's, it's due to shut down in November for its life expectancy kind of thing and uh, they shut it down due to one of a part failure and they're wondering uh, whether it's even worth leaving the thing uh, back on or not. Uh, what else? Of course the snowstorms in Illinois, New York, Michigan, uh, the extreme weather in um, North Carolina of course, uh, South Africa's got uh, extreme drought and heat wave um, they're saying they have some big fires in the Western Cape area. And, um, of course, uh, all that that entails. Da, da, da. 
And that tornado that was in um, Texas City, Texas the other day, was it's official now. It's the first tornado of 2012. And that's about all new climate change I have for you today. Over to the nuclear stuff by e and &E News. Humans 2? Question mark. French nuclear expert warns against trip to Fukushima City for Lavour artwork collection. Decontaminating radioactivity would be a complex operation and it might damage that priceless artwork. A little too much for them to send it down for a display. Uh, got a 4.1 magnitude earthquake hits Fukushima, strongest intensity registered at uh, Futaba Co County, Homa Diachi plant. And they've got a video out, of course, where this nurse uh, lost several teeth in her hair and her nails, and they've got it on video. Um, very shallow, magnitude 4.8, quake hits the region. And <clears throat> Fukushima Diani, not so fatally damaged as Diachi. Government making claims of cold shutdown conditions at both plants. And you got to remember there are two nuclear power plants there. Both of them had damage due to the tsunami and earthquake. Uh, now they're declaring um, cold shutdown in both of those. And uh, yeah, they've got some more stuff, but that's all I'm going to throw at you for today. Uh, of course, if I missed anything, please leave your comments or attach your videos below. I enjoy what I can, everybody. Thanks for your support.